Hey everyone, I'm here with Emerson, playing King of the Hill, Stacking Chest with Trevally. I am the Black Scarlet. Are you ready? Yeah. So King of the Hill, if you get your king to any of the four center squares, you win. And the king is the one Yeah, these are all these are all like chess. So you're yeah, the king is the king is the one with a circle around it. Um Take this pawn. Oh, of course I couldn't. Okay. King is around the little circle. Oh, man. How am I already messing up on this? All right. So what you've been working on? Working on a Puro piece. A Puro piece? Yeah. In percussion. Like? You mean like? It, Puro on, like, yeah. Puro ensemble. Okay. Yeah. How's that going? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's starting out. Like, it has a solid idea. It's 
so it's coming along. Once I figured that I felt like I was writing something that was had substance to it, it felt a lot better about things. I felt a lot better about things. Um, it's just a interesting place, you know. A lot of different ideas of things and like everybody's trying to just a lot of different ideas going on at one time. Like you start to see all the different sub disciplines and stuff and they all have their purposes and interests. And it's kind of weird, like, just being a composer. Like, I feel like we're, like, the weirdest sub to this one of all. Because, like, we still actually like music, like, and care about it for itself. <laughs> like, most of the other disciplines don't really give a shit about, like, sound as much as they care about, like, what does sound do to society. So it's almost like we're just kind of, like, old fogies who just, like, care that things sound nice. But I guess then there's a whole, and then like composers and now like a big movement is like just trying to be relative, like trying to be current, you know? So it's like, if you're trying to be a popular composer, it's like you try to write music that's politically motivated. I don't know what it is. I don't know, it's just interesting. Everything's politics. Yeah. So it's interesting to see. And then, yeah. Pittsburgh's pretty awesome though, like it has a lot going on musically and artistically, like in general. Seems to be a lot of people who care about art and stuff. So that's nice. But it's also overwhelming because like I think I want to get into all this like cross disciplinary stuff and it's like it's just like what the fuck? Like how do you even focus on something? But I think I'm overanalyzing it. Like, you just have to start doing shit and just see what happens. Ah, I made a mistake. <laughs> you made a mistake? Yeah. I thought I could move the pawn over my king, but I can't do that. You can't move a pawn over your king? Yeah. Why can't you do that? I'm guessing because it's in the rules. That when the king has to be on top of the pile or something. So what did you end up doing on accident? I, I moved the king over to d6, thinking I could move my d7 pawn on top of it, and then over it. Oh, and then you just realized that it's not allowing you? Yeah. But is it still your turn, or did you just give up? Uh, making a move. I still got, I got a lot less time than you, but I still got some time. I was hoping that's not to happen. I was planning that's not to happen.
Yeah, in a doctor, you kind of just like. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. You kind of just, um. You have to, uh, get in something. And you have to go pretty far, or it doesn't mean anything, especially in, like, the kind of program I'm in. It's a research program, so it's like, you kind of need to dive, like, all the way into something, especially scholarly. It's not really going to matter, because you're only going to be able to go to a superficial level and, like, to be able to do anything that makes any sense research that's actually something that matters. Or the wind. Nice. Um. You have to be able to digest all of the information on that topic. Which, there's like, so much information. Yeah, it just seems overwhelming to try to do a cross-disciplinary thing, because, like, I'd have to fully comprehend, like, yeah, it's just a lot. It's interesting. But then it's, like, it's very isolating in your PhD, because it's, like, if everyone just knows, like, a fuck ton about some obscure fucking thing, it's, like, how the fuck do we even care about which what each other's doing? So, yeah. You end up just, like, being these, like, know-it-alls that only know about a little bit of stuff, and, like, no one really knows anything what anyone else is doing, because, like, to understand it, you'd have to comprehend all the literature about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just funny, so it's like, you only can communicate by, like, just saying, I'm here for you, kind of. But it's like, that's not as exciting to me. So it's like, now I realize why when you pick your doctorate, it would be really nice to go to a, to already be super invested in one topic that you know you love and that you know you want to spend the rest of your life with or a lot of time with and then pick your doctorate based upon people who, which I already knew that, but I didn't know how important that would be. Because if you go to a program that's not really, if you don't have a strong interest and you just go to a program and try to choose your interest when you get there, then by the time when you choose your interest, like, what if there's nobody there? That, so it's like you almost have to end up just doing with whatever somebody's interested in that's already there. It's like, and that's kind of like what I'm facing. It's like, I don't really know what the fuck I want to do, but now it's like, Crazy. Gonna start a new game? Yeah. You gotta resign this one to start a new. The what? How do I resign it? Uh, okay. It's a little bit to the right, depending on how big your tab is. Do you do it? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so the king is the one with a circle around it. I'm not going to forget that this time. Nice. King of the hill as well. So you get your king to the one of the four center squares. I also went to a therapist last Monday. How was that? Interesting. I mean, it was pretty much what you'd expect, but it was also just like, you know, it was like you said, it's just someone being super nice to you for 45 minutes or an hour. <laughs> I, did I say that? <laughs> I think you kind of mentioned that because, well, in a way, you were like, they're just going to try to help you and they're going to be nice. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. It was like, it was good. I mean, it was mostly just me, like, I mean, the first one, I only went to the first one, which is just, you know, it's going to be like, just somebody, like, he's just trying to figure out what, where I'm at. I mean, like, it's gonna, I don't know, it's interesting, because 
Yeah, it would just be wild. I don't know. I'm gonna be a lot. I'm gonna be up and down like fuck as usual. But like that might take a little bit for him to understand how like. Um. Just erratic my emotions can be. So. Hmm. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. He's just like. I mean, he studied like human emotions, so maybe he'll figure that out. <laughs> Like, have you ever heard of borderline personality disorder? Yeah. Sometimes, like, I don't know, I just feel like I have those feelings of just, like, not knowing what I am and, like, just listening to whatever someone tells me and, like, having a feeling of not... I don't know, sometimes I feel like that. It's kind of weird where, like, you just, like... I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I think it's like the fact that we all identify as like one self. Like, because the, well, like multiple personalities is kind of pretty interesting to me. Because, like, just the idea that we all identify as one self when we, I would say for the most part, hear different voices in our head. I mean, I think that's somewhat normal. Not, like, for them to, like, control you and drive you crazy and stuff, but, like, you hear... Yeah, I think everyone has multiple personalities in a sense. I mean, we're using these words without knowing the yeah. medical, probably, backing for what they mean. But I know, I think I know what you mean. Like, everyone has, like, a critical side, you know, or some kind of side to their inner thoughts. So, yeah, I mean, it's like we all kind of have a multiple personality. Like, sometimes I just feel empty. Like, I don't really have any real thoughts of my own. I don't know. I just kind of I mean, feel like... Yeah, I think it's pretty common just because, like... What's going on here? I'm missing something? What? Isn't that a free pawn? The king's the one with a circle around it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. So it's not just me? I'm not going crazy? Um... Yeah, maybe I'm just hyper aware of it because I'm actually like doing scholarly or trying a scholarly like <laughs> mindset. So it's like you're just super aware that like no idea is original and like to find a truly original idea is like you have to be a fucking genius or like work your fucking ass off. So maybe I just feel like I don't know anything. But it's just funny because like I don't know like everything's about society here and it's just like you realize like. Everybody's just fucking cheap, man. Like, everyone just fucking... Well, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of hard to define original, too. Like, I know I've read... I have to find the book. Uh, but, like, describing all the people responsible for, like, the end result of making a sound at the in a concert. Yeah. Um... Okay. And it was just, like, so many different people, like responsible for the sound and how it's not like you're really not responsible for how the instrument really sounds or uh, yeah. yeah I mean I'm talking about like ideologies like ways of thinking like not like that seems like more coincidental stuff like I'm not going to try to notate, like, every single, s like, yeah, I realize that when I notate a C on the saxophone, that, like, I'm not notating, like, every single, you know, like, quaver of the pitch or, like... Well, I mean, it really just, it goes into question, like, is anything really original? I mean, because, think, I mean, just think of our brains. Our brains are mostly input and output like very complex input and output functions yeah of course every I mean I realize that originality is always built upon what's been known before I get it 
but do you but to have any like it's always and that's what I'm saying is I agree with you so much on that point that I realize that in a way the to create an original thought you'd have to more than likely you'd have to consume all the literature on a given topic you'd have to know what everyone had already thought about it to be able to come up with something new to be able to base something new you have to know what everyone's ever said about it because chances are there's so many people in the world that there's probably like the odds that you came up with some original some idea that someone about something that's that could be influential like you'd have to know what everyone else had done you know mm-hmm. to be able to add to the ideas of someone you get what i'm saying yeah so i'm just saying like look at society like how many people fucking read like <laughs> Like, most people just fucking go on, like, a lot of people go on Facebook or, like, their days about going to their fucking job and just, like, fucking repeating whatever the fuck they did the last day so they can get money, like, it's just, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm a composer, so I've always cared about, like, trying to create something. That was one of my main arguments of, like, it doesn't matter if... I have an audience or anything because like look who the audience is at a point. <laughs> like, oh, just like a bunch of idiots. I mean, kind of. I mean, I, yeah. Well, I mean, that just is your problem because that means you're doing it. If that takes away your joy of doing it, then you must not really enjoy doing it. Then. No, like like most of my enjoyment comes for comes from okay sharing it no like not not giving a fuck or it's it's not when i'm in front of people it's when i'm usually alone let's keep on can i go here no that's your that's your night yeah I get what you're saying. It comes when you're alone. I don't know, it's just interesting, I'm like, I have such a wide variety of interests, like, I was just watching, like, a thing on, like, because I'm interested in, like, gender theory and all that stuff, and, like, you start getting into that, and it's like, oh my fucking god, like, that's (laughs) so fucking crazy. Like, that's what a lot of people are writing about, but it's also, like, a lot of these composers are, like... How many genders do you know of currently? Um, yeah, I don't really know what I believe about all that really anymore. I don't know. It's a complicated idea. Yeah. And I think it really just has to do with the fact that we don't fucking understand biology yet, so... <laughs> like, we don't fully understand biology. And if we don't fully understand biology... I mean, you can't, it's hard to understand what the connections between gender and sexuality and sex is, you know? Mm-hmm. Do you agree or no? It's a hard science. I mean, I, I, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> to me, that's the crux of the situation is. You know, people are saying that gender is separate from sex, but if we don't understand really how being male, 
affects how we're going to act in society. Like, we need to know how that actually really plays out in society. Like, we need unbelievable controls to figure that out. Like, that are almost unachievable or just take an amazing amount of understanding of genetics, understanding of how to do experiments that are ethical but also, like, have good controls and then mm-hmm. like how the fuck could we even get to that point you know <laughs> so then like in the end it just really comes down to like you know I don't know I mean it's obviously more complex than what I'm talking about because I don't even know the fucking literature and I'm not a scientist either so I'm pro- just a fucking idiot like <laughs> saying shit but like at least I feel like it's an incredibly complex thing at least I understand that it seems so complex, like we're not going to be able to figure it out. You know? so, like, I don't know. And then, like, another funny thing that I'm realizing is, like, all the, how, basically in academia, countries and nationalism is, like, looked down upon a lot, you know, like, or at least in terms of Western <laughs> nationalism, but it, but it seems like we all want to understand everyone else's culture and all the minority groups. Which is a good thing. I'm not against that. But then it's like the rule of law. You know, it's like the idea that we need laws is kind of an interesting (laughs) thing to that because that always seems to be tied up with countries. But then it's like, but countries are where ideas have often started, you know? Well, at least ideas vary by countries or groups or locations because of how things have been with not having the internet and so it's thousands of years of like ideas forming so then it's like once you want to understand other ideas in other places which is what's happening in academia and it's been happening for the last hundred years or so you know like for a while but it's like then you start getting into like what is the right idea of things and it's like uh, but then you like you need rule of law, so it's like you need to have law for society to operate. So it's like we're arguing about things that are like like when you talk about gender, you're talking about uprooting a system of how our society runs. So like you know, like when you said How many genders are there? Like, if you say there's unlimited genders, then how do you put that in a law? You know, like, how do we talk about it? You know, it creates a whole bunch of identity problems and, like, yeah, just a slew of shit. (laughs) But it's like, I don't know, I'm applying that to the idea of, like, we want to open ourselves up to other cultures and understand other perspectives and break down power structures and stuff like that, and it's just like, huh, well, I don't know, like, the right has some things to say about stuff, like, because they tend to more care about, like, we need structure in society and stuff, it's like, I don't know, it's just kind of interesting to me. I don't know, it's like, the internet is just fucking our world up, man. (laughs) I don't know, I just feel overwhelmed by it all. It's like, I have a hard time, like, just not thinking about that shit all day. But I guess I take it too personal, too. That's why I think I like, like, nihilist humor. Like, you like Eric Andre a lot? Yeah. 
yeah, I love that kind of humor that's just like, it's because that's the only humor I can really laugh about because everything else is too serious. Like, the, um, the, uh, what should you call it? The, um, stakes are too high. Like, how we structure society, like, is gender a binary thing? Like, these questions are too relevant and too, like, important for me to ever laugh about, you know? I mean, I mean, I can laugh about it, but it's like, most of the time I'm pretty serious, so it's like, fuck. So that's why I love Eric Andre, because it's like, who the fuck gives a shit, you know? It's like humor <laughs> about nothing. You know, it's about the absurdity of everything, just like, it's admitting we know nothing and then laughing about it. Like, that's just really funny to me. Like, because that's something that takes away there is no fear when you just admit you know nothing. Nothing's knowable. But then it's like, I'm in a fucking PhD program. Like, the whole damn point is to try to figure out what you know and what you don't know. Which I enjoy doing, but it's overwhelming and, like, it's kind of like, how the fuck do I get some other things that I want? Like, because I'm all worried about, like, gender and shit. It's like, I mean, no wonder I can't. Like, I've had, like, problems with getting a girlfriend and stuff. It's like, how the fuck do you get a girlfriend and, like, you can't fucking figure out what the fuck a gender role is. Like, I'm so fucked up that way. Like, I don't even know what does it mean to be a woman or a man. But then I'm supposed to, like, operate in a society for my personal self, but I don't know what my own beliefs are. So it's, like, it's just very annoying. And I'm so serious all the time. It's just, like, it's hard for me to create two separate selves of, like, realizing can think about all this stuff but like what do you believe personally and like how do you separate that from your personal life but then like being a musician it's notoriously you don't separate your personal life from your work life you know yeah like artists from the artwork it doesn't really work man like you can't like being a professor or anything like that like your life is your job yeah. but it's like I don't know what I believe you know like I'm discovering things so it's like how the fuck do you f I just gotta like tr find someone who like wants to I don't know I guess find someone who's okay with being with someone who has no fucking real beliefs of anything <laughs> oh uh do you want to start a new one I don't know let's just go to the other game I guess no Thanks for watching this video. This has been King of the Hill, Stacking Chess.